And as we check the standings after the compulsory dances, no surprise at the top, Oksana Grishuk and Yevgeny Platov lead. They are the reigning world and Olympic champions. Their chief rivals from Russia, Grilova and Ovsyanikov in second, followed by Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz of Canada. Right now, Elizabeth Punselin and Jared Swallow in a good spot in sixth place for the U.S. And here is the other American team competing in the ice dancing competition, Yves Shalom and Matthew Gates. They captured a silver medal at the U.S. Championships. A lot of fans here in Lausanne to cheer them on. And they've skated quite well this week. skating in their first world championships but watching them and talking to them all week they haven't acted like it they haven't acted like rookies at all well, one of the things you can see right off is that they are extremely energetic very fast and have one of the quickest tangos in the competition this is really a very promising young dance couple If you haven't heard their story before, it is an impressive one, especially for Eve. She's hearing impaired, wears a hearing aid. At the age of four, she lost all the hearing in one ear and partial hearing. Introduce a faster way to fight acne. Very energetic, very fast, and have one of the quickest tangos in the competition. This is really a very promising young dance couple. If you haven't heard their story before, it is an impressive one, especially for Eve. She's hearing impaired, wears a hearing aid. At the age of four, she lost all the hearing in one ear and partial hearing in another. Yet they've accomplished great things in a short period of time. She was only 17 years old. Now, one of the problems they've had in dancing is that they haven't remained close together. You can see the gap just before this move. That's one of the areas that they have to work on. But that's really nitpicking because they are a very fine, very smooth and controlled pair. The dance, light and hoppy in character. The truly impressive turning technique. Very nice. I must say, they, they really are a fine and very, very up-and-coming young couple. And they've looked confident all week long. Nothing has really bothered them. Actually, when they took the ice in the warm-up, they looked more nervous than any time we've seen them all week. But very nice original dance for Yves Shalom and Matthew Gates will have their scores when we return to Lausanne. World Figure Skating Championships are presented by MasterCard, the official card of the World Figure Skating Championships, and in part by Embassy Suites Hotels. Reserve on the internet or call 1-800-EMBASSY. And by Genuine Chevrolet, the cars more Americans trust. Back in Lausanne, Yves Shalom and Matthew Gates, the U.S. silver medalist in a tie for 17th coming into this original dance. And this slow motion shows how fast and quick they are. It also shows one of the problem areas that they have, and that is the gap between the two of them as they're dancing. You can see how far apart they are here. How many times have you seen a tango where the two bodies are just plastered against each other? That's what makes a tango. This is one area where they'll have to work. But really, they are a fine young dance team. There they are with their coach, Igor Spielmann and Elizabeth Coates. Composition marks 4.2 up to 5.0. By the way, Matthew is a British citizen. He could not compete at the Olympics should they make it next year. And the marks for presentation for Shalom and Gates. 
sur la glace, on the ice, Cathy Winkler, René Lozer, Germany. <applaudissements>